Hello, this is my Milwaukee pack out shop storage wall. And since I haven't been able to find any other videos of it on the YouTube, uh, that's not a commercial, that's not a professional review. I'm showing this off to you where you can see an actual a unit in the wild from an average Joe, uh, just a normal person, not sponsored. I wish it was, but you can kind of see how it's all laid out. And I'll bring you in a little bit closer here. Um, you can see that uh, I have six wall plates and the nice thing about it is it's all completely modular. You can move anything around that you want. Uh, I knew that this was uh, going to be these um, these tool shelves. I'm not sure what exactly what they're called. Was going to be more like the heart of my system, along with the uh, battery holders because I have quite a few batteries. Uh, I've done my best to label them. So that way I can kind of tell at a glance what they are because it's kind of hard to read, uh, especially on the small batteries, uh, what they are uh, amperage wise and all that. And I got a little bit of room to grow. I could probably buy, get two more of these big boys at some point. And, uh, but uh, let me bring you in a little bit closer to this, um, this, uh, tool shelf thing. The only pieces that I did not buy were the um, the the pliers rack or the pliers or the tool rack or the screwdriver rack. I didn't buy those because I, I have a toolbox for that. I didn't think I would need that. I did get the uh, long handled um, holder. It kind of holds like your it could be a shop broom or a um, their uh, outdoor power equipment. I did have that, but I didn't like it because it didn't seem to work really well. And I did have it over here, but I got the, the cabinet instead. And you can kind of check out the cabinet here. Pretty nice. I mean, I haven't had much time to really get into it or to put stuff away in it yet. And what isn't wasn't I didn't notice when I bought it was until I got it was it does have the cleats underneath it, along with the uh, how it hangs on the back, and then you can kind of see that it has the uh, cleats above. I'll bring you in for a closer look here, but let's take a look at these uh, these utility shelves. So the really nice thing about them, other than holding the the tool. You know, and you, they don't have to be pistol grip tools, as you can see. I got, you know, like uh, this uh, this uh, random orbital, which is a an absolute beast, uh, as a matter of fact. And you know, I've got the little pads and stuff associated for it here. But the nice thing about it is you can hang your tools from it, and it does have a like a little cubby right there where you could put, uh, you know, your little bits and pieces and stuff like that in here and the best part is on top you can store chargers and in my case I have four of these things so I have four chargers and what's not immediately clear from you know the uh, picture or that you would order off of online is all of them have like this little pass-through hole where you can kind of see how I routed the wires from one charger all the way through, all the way through, and all the way to a power strip, which is just sitting there right now for the moment. I Maybe I might zip tie that up there. Oh, I also um, mounted this. Uh, I watched a video from a Concord carpenter where he talked about, you know, obviously I have a uh, drywall here, but... He talked about uh, the different ways to mount the wall 
and I chose to go with the straps, uh, is the technique that he described, which is uh, using two uh, one by fours. And what I would do is, I didn't use all these holes, by the way. Um, I put uh, two, each, each of these wall plates is 30 inches wide. So I got 90 inches of wall, you know, when you put three of them together across is 90 inches. So that comes out to about seven and a half feet. I did have the uh, Home Depot department cut the wood uh, because they come in eight foot sections. So I had them cut off six inches. So you can see that I got the, uh, the one by fours right here and I, I screwed them in. There's another set of them and then down at the bottom. I screwed them into the drywall. I put uh, two screws each through each section. So two and then two and two. And I didn't need to use a stud finder or anything because it's you know super easy to find out where the studs are. Uh, and then I used the uh, lag bolts that uh, they described or, or that comes with the instructions for the wall plates. And I did get these at Home Depot. They are self drilling screws. Uh, quarter inch by one and a quarter inch lag bolts and they were really easy to put in it went up pretty quickly and um, so you would for these you would put the you would find the the corresponding hole so I can use just the top holes and the bottom holes and actually there's a few because I ran out of bolts that I need to to put in there but it doesn't feel uh, insecure or anything like that. I mean, you can, it's solid, but yeah. So that way you, I would just put it in right here and drive it in with a, um, impact driver. And that's how it went up there. And I made sure it was level and everything. And you can kind of see my layout. Uh, it's not like a hundred percent complete. Probably, uh, the compact shelves are really nice. I do have these uh, wide bins. I'm not sure exactly what to do with them. And I didn't know that it came with uh, dividers and a top part to it, which is pretty nice. I wasn't expecting that. And then these little, little bins are the same way too. So everything just kind of hangs on here. And you can't, uh, the hooks are really nice. Um, I bought one of each hook. This is the kind of like the squared off hook. This is the long hook. And then I got two of these kind of hooks, which might be more for like extension cords. And uh, yeah, so I've hung uh, a few things on here. Like this fan is being hung by the, uh, the I guess the small hook. I like the small hooks better i think uh it's true that these do stick out more but they also take up two slots where the smaller hook takes up one slot so that's something to keep in mind there but yeah i love this wall i love the organization i love how i can just kind of sort everything according to what kind of tool it is and you do have a little bit of extra space on top to, um, you know, keep some extra boxes. It, it does fit the charger quite well. Uh, the nice thing is you can see the charge status. Uh, these two are rapid chargers. It's a little bit harder to see when you're standing on the, on the ground. But, uh, yeah, it's... Absolutely fantastic. I, I love how my batteries are organized and how I can have everything more or less in one place because before these were kind of all scattered around the garage and in my house and I had all these batteries kind of stacked up on each other. Uh, but yeah, now this is a great option. I'd seen battery holders before that were the 3D printed kind but they didn't look very good. And uh, yeah, these are great. I You can remove these battery holders and 
if you have a pack out, uh, I don't have much in the way of pack out because I'm not like a tradesman or anything like that. You can um, lay it on top of your pack out. And I have a pack out uh, vacuum, but it does not click in to um, any of the, the pack out stuff. So if you were to lay it on top, yeah, it would keep all your batteries together, but uh, it would not lock in. I got the cord stuck right here. Get that out of the way so I can get that back up here. But you can see how it just go, kind of goes in the slots. And then you turn this and it locks it down and it's not going anywhere. I mean, I, I did have a fire extinguisher, this fire extinguisher on the wall. I had to move that to put this in. But uh, yeah, with this little, I don't know what this is called, storage cup thing, I was able to put my fire extinguisher back. So I hope uh, you've enjoyed this review and it gives you a better idea of the kind of things that um, you may want to use it for. And the nice thing is, if I don't like it being in one place, I can just kind of move it around and put it somewhere else. Thanks. Have a good day.